Yeah, when you see the Cox Mill boys basketball team take the court for warmups here in tomorrow's third round of the playoffs, you'll see these pink wristbands. See, for the Chargers, it's not just about what they're playing for, but who they're playing for. You know, every day I wake up thinking about it. That includes game day for Cox Mill sophomore Quave Probst Allison. We have the same last name. Quave's 13 year old cousin, Aviana Probst, was shot and killed in late December outside of Concord Mills Mall. Days later, still grieving her loss, Quave walked into practice to a surprise from a teammate. I felt loved. Um, me and my family, we, was, we just felt special. John Anthony Baker had these pink wristbands especially made in Aviana's honor for the entire Cox Mill team to wear. I had no idea it was coming. They just brought him in. Nobody knew nothing about it. John, just he's just a great person. I'm just blessed that I have somebody like that on the team to care about me and my family as much to get something made like this for me. The Chargers have won 15 of their last 16 games since they started wearing the wristbands. Our guys have just had each other's back. Just, I mean, from day one, I mean, it's been a family. Like the layup line, Aviana's memory is now a part of Cox Mills warmups. Wearing these and warmups and stuff, it just made me think of her and I really miss her. So every day I just think of her before the game and I use it as motivation to just go out there and do what I do best. And these stands are expected to be rocking tomorrow as Cox Mill goes for their 10th straight win at 2 p.m. when they host the Weddington Warriors. For now, live at Cox Mill High School, I'm Matt Harris. Back to you.